small spaces. For those of you who are downsizing, here are some examples of accessories that can create a dynamic interior. Uh, in this uh, small apartment, uh, we use a little bit of a geometry to help us expand the width of the room. We put the rug on a diagonal, and uh, naturally in a right uh, triangle, the hypotenuse is longer, so we are then complementing that diagonal with the screen in the back, so you lose the corner. Um, the main accessory here stops your eye is that medallion, and as you can see, it just is um, just very strong contrast. It relates to the screen. So, and I do love that the screen has an architectural element to it, Susan. Oh, great. because the room is uh -huh. pretty void of architecture. Let's be honest, yeah. but that screen really brings in some nice interest. Yes, I know. A lot of times, these in these apartments, you can't do much. Mm -hmm. So we try to <laughs> compensate. So then, uh, when you look at the accessories here. You, you less is more. That's the plan when you're doing a small room and also coordinated. You really have to think them out. And here we have small pops of color, such as the orange vase and the yellow vase and the, uh, the yellow orangey lamp. Um, then I feel that the, uh, the armoire is very heavy for this room. So I feel the screen was very, very important to balance the armoire. And then in the next slide, we have uh, the actual dining room to this same small apartment. We used a lot of vertical lines to help uh, distract us from the size of this. Uh, mirrors and glass are wonderful as far as making a room look bigger. But um, the, again, carrying the same analogous color scheme, the orange and the yellow, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. onto the tulips, onto the table. And it is high. It gives some vertical use of space. We don't have room for a buffet, so I guess um, our little pedestal is our pretend buffet. Mm, I do like the pedestal, Susan. Oh. And I like how the, the sculpture you placed on that is very open, so your eye does go through it instead of wow. just stopping. So. Thank, well, you know what's neat is I've noticed in the mirror that the sculpture talks to the medallion. Mm. And so then uh, the plant, of course, is tall, and that balances the sculpture and the pedestal and the picture also. We really needed that pedestal on the other side because one side of the room has all the furniture, and then there's nothing on the other side. Mary. Okay, so here <laughs> is a room, and talking about downsizing, this was a gentleman who moved into a retirement home. Um, so uh, there was a lot of editing that was involved in this job. Um, but also keeping many of his uh, prized treasures that he collected throughout the years. So here we're looking at a room that appears to be very symmetrical, but yet it is an asymmetrical room. And when you look, the sofa, then the two chairs. But I think what really makes it work is that the balance there. Um, and that's where the accessories come in. And the use of color. The color is used in the rug and it carries up the wall and over to the window treatments. I really think, Mary, that for uh, that is a wonderful treatment as far as being able to use the lighter colors to make the room look bigger. Also, the spa blue, also that color recedes. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it makes the room look bigger as well. Oh, thank you, Susan. Here is a shot of the sofa wall there. And again, I noted the uh, asymmetrical asymmetry. And you see that here, the end tables do not match, the lamps do not match, but yet they somehow balance each other and do give that appearance of symmetry. And again, the use of color, and you really see it here in the wall art. And that blue is carried down into the rug and again on the window treatments. I like the fact that you don't have a, uh, a dark border on that rug that would define the small space. The fact that it blends right into the carpet helps make that space look bigger. Oh, Susan, I didn't notice that. <laughs> and here's another, on the next shot, you're going to see the opposite side of the room. And here we have a collection of drawings. And that composition was really fun to create. Again, um, noticing the two chairs, the symmetrical balance, but then the asymmetry is layered behind there. Above that server piece, we placed the lamp and then balanced the tree and then took that negative space and then arranged the drawings to fill in. Well, I do have to say that these drawings, you've done an excellent job. Normally, when we do the drawings, we tell people that you have to have like a, a vertical line and a horizontal line and you take those pictures off from that. But there's rules to always be broken. And, and you we know do me, it. Susan, I break the rules. <laughs> yeah, so. Yes. And so instead of a vertical line and a horizontal line, Mary, you did a diagonal line. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> 
out of the box. <laughs> well, hopefully we've given you some nice ideas um, when designing a small space. Thanks for watching. Learn more about our design services at starfurniture.com slash design services.